Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to your to travel vlog Jamie. It's the continuation of our one week Northern European cruise on Piano Iona. You missed all of this in part one, let's rewind. <laughs> And here's what's coming up in part 2. Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, I enter a pancake tossing competition. What to expect from celebration night, dinner at the Olive Grove, Valentine's Day, two full days in Rotterdam, including water taxis, market hall, getting stuck in a food loop, inside a 380,000 euro cube house. I'm fortunate enough to spend a whole night on board SS Rotterdam, sample a breakfast in the main dining room, tour the engine and steam rooms, an extra wild setting on the water taxis. I brave Euromast at 185 meters, back on board Iona for a night at the Limelight Club with Deborah Stevenson, and I take to the stage to entertain. So we left Bremerhaven uh, to my old German teacher. Was that okay? Um, at 9.30 a.m. today, we have the remainder of the day at sea uh, before arriving into Rotterdam tomorrow morning. Here's what's on offer on board on this fine sea day. You can find out what's happening on board via your Horizon newsletter delivered to your cabin every evening. It's also now available electronically via the myholiday.pocruises.com webpage. Whilst I've been sailing with Piano for many years, I do think they offer a wide range of activities for all interests and ages. Ooh, pancake flipping contest. I've got to do that. Don't forget there are solo and LGBTQ plus meets every day. Good morning. Let's do this breakfast. Doors opening. Oh, I think it would be very, very rude not to do an Epicurean breakfast today. And here's what's on offer for breakfast at the Epicurean. If there's something not on the menu, just ask. They will try their best to get it for you. On board Iona, the Epicurean is available for sweet guests to have their breakfast. Why am I here? Um, well, I was very fortunate. I was invited to try this out. Uh, compare it to the main dining room. Uh, obviously, other guests can have their breakfast in the Keys and the Horizon Buffet. You could have some limited room service as well. Life force, please. Health, 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 darlings. Nom, nom, nom. Here's something I did not know before. On board Iona and Avia, you can actually book into the Epicurean for breakfast. It's eight pound, eight pound 50 per person, I believe. Um, it's recommended you do it on your very first evening on board as space is very limited. This is not something that is widely advertised. So can we keep it between ourselves? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just laughing at a lady who walked by who got very excited to see me. I don't know why anyone gets excited to see me, especially when I've got my makeup on. Um, I wanted to remind you as well that you can actually have breakfast at the Keeling Cow. Um, it's speciality breakfast, so you do have to pay for each item individually. It's my boy crush, Captain Wesley. Just a reminder, there is a short excursions desk on board in case you haven't booked your excursions in advance. Uh, there are also screens, you just tap your card against the screen. <laughs> Look at it, apparently something's not right, that's me through and through. All right, I've tried a different screen now. Good to see there's still availability for some of these excursions. Um, the most popular will either say limited availability or sold out. Uh, in particular, the accessible uh, excursions can get booked up in advance. So um, do judge carefully if you are looking to go somewhere in particular. Oh Don't forget to log out as well when you're done. You do not want anybody charging an excursion to your account, do you? Yes, log me out. Thank you. Bye, Bremerhaven. We are gracefully pirouetting. Thank you, Wesley. It may be a great day out, but my heart is filled with light, love, and joy. <laughs> oh, I love this. I just went and ordered an iced coffee to take out. Uh, I said, no sugar, please. And the lady making the coffees, I heard her say, make sure you've made a note of that. It's really important he doesn't have any sugar in his coffee. Gosh, reputation, eh? We are the Blue Triangle. We're just leaving Bremerhaven, actually, heading for Rotterdam. It's choir time in the clubhouse. If you watch part one, you'll know I actually joined the choir and I didn't quit it on this occasion. Oh, 
Now then, I was going to go to the Glass House for my lunch, but I literally ran out of time. So busy chatting to so many lovely people. So chips, peas and curry sauce it is. I'm on a coffee date. It's true. I've been propositioned and everything, my loves. Although that doesn't look like coffee. I was absolutely going to have coffee. Daytime drinking is not for me. Right, well, look, here's my coffee date and I've had a lovely cup of coffee. Hello. You are... James. And? I'm George. Also known as? James and George Adventures. Yes, look how my hand is gesturing and gesticulating. Now, these two are lovely, apart from the fact they asked me for a coffee and are literally abandoning me in about one second to go to the Epicurean. Why should people watch your channel? Why should they watch our channel? Well, I am very good at com comedy, so. You're, co you're the comedic <laughs> one. I feel like we give, uh, yeah, just an honest sort of review of what we're doing. We just take you with us on our holiday, take you around. I see, so that's what, what I love. Doing. If you want honest, these are the two to watch. And also, if you want to feel a state of abandonment, then please do go for a drink <laughs> with these two. They'll leave you within minutes. We owe Jamie a drink, so. Oh, and at some point yes. Right, you have a good time at the afternoon tea, is it? Yeah, yes. yeah, thank you. I hope you don't choke on your scones. <laughs> bye. Cheers, bye. Right, well, I wouldn't call what I had earlier lunch, would you? So I've come to uh, Taste 360, which is the poolside grill. All your salad items. Oh, look at that, they've got chicken cacciatore as well. Help, 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 darlings. Oh God, sorry, that's the wrong frame. Oh, we got a music quiz in the Sky Dome. I can do this quiz, yes. Oh yeah, my spidey senses, I swear, tingling all the way. I'm at my beloved feasters. It ain't so beloved this afternoon. No takeaway, he said, you can't have takeaway. Well, that's news to me. Have a seat, he said. There's no seats. I just wanted to get a takeaway. I won't do it. Fair enough. Come on, who likes tossing their pancakes? Whoa. I'm always excited. but it's the taking part that counts, isn't it? That was good fun. I think it's the only time I've ever been in a final for anything in my life. <laughs> and who knew it would be a part of flipping pancakes, eh? You never know in this funny old world, do you? Right, I've just been accosted by this beautiful family. We've got a love of pancake flipping, haven't we? Yes. And we... you, kind sir, actually were robbed. You're the best <laughs> pancake flipper I've ever seen in my life. I really enjoy doing that pancake flipping. Yes, don't say the other word I said earlier. Flipping. Flipping. Oh, yeah. Very funny competition. I've been corrected. Only once a year. <laughs> I've been corrected on that word a few times already. Uh, what do you two got to say for yourselves then? Uh, You're getting married, aren't you, soon? No, that's Big Brother. Oh, Big Brother, big sorry. Getting married. What's been your favourite thing so far? Uh, going to port yesterday. 
What did you do? We just went and walked, walked around, uh, had very cheap ice cream. All right. One euro fifty. Oh, what about the beer? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad influence. <laughs> Oh, a bit of pizza. Yeah. Italiano, lovely. All right, thank you so much, folks. Have a great week, won't you? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty, I want to do a little bit of shopping, actually. Quite like to get myself a new aftershave. Oh, I can't decide. The Joe Malone is my favorite, but blimey, it's expensive. Maybe I won't be impulsive for once and just wait and see. Back in my cabin and I've got ice and complimentary champagne um that's a part of the peninsula club by the way if you're caribbean tier or above thank you Ooh. one cube two cubes ra 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 cheers my darlings love to you all let's get that party started Woo! A uh, couple of things about celebration night. Well, first of all, on board Piano, Iona, and Avia, there's just one so called celebration slash formal night a week. Uh, tonight is indeed black tie, but you don't have to wear black, my darlings. No, any color will do, will do. And you can see here which venues require you to be following the black tie dress code. All the others, no need. You will also receive in your cabin a Celebration Night Cheers voucher. Yep, you can present this voucher at any of the bars and receive your glass of bubbly or indeed a non-alcoholic elderflower presse. Just to avoid any confusion, the chef's table tonight is at the buffet. Not actually at an actual chef's actual table, lol, actual lol, it's not. Thank you to the lovely lady who just came over and bought me a drink and she insisted. Honestly, I tried really hard, like, no, 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 it's fine. And she said, um, you bring my daughter so much joy watching your vlogs and it's the least we can do. So how kind is that? Amazing. Well, thank you. I am absolutely going to enjoy this. God bless you. Wow, it is buzzing in the Grand Atrium. Lots of people lining up to get their formal pictures. Actually, on every deck, look. As much as I always feel uncomfy wearing this, I've got to say, it's lovely seeing everybody having such a great time. There's such a lovely buzz about the place as well. It is really quite nice. Very excited to be eating in the olive grove tonight. Oh, fab, right in the corner. Love it, thank you. The Olive Grove is included in your cruise fare, but as you can see, some of the dishes come with a surcharge. Anyway, grab yourself a starter, a main course, and a dessert. Oh, you can exchange your free drinks voucher, by the way, in the restaurants as well. Just got this from the Olive Grove. Radio, I've got the sharing platter. But two, but just for me, because I'm greedy, but without the calamari. That would literally kill me. So I've got the croquetas de jamón, uh, some chorizo, padron peppers, and also squeaky cheese. Okay, so I did not order this passion fruit martini. In fact, there's a couple sat over here who bought that for me. So I have to declare that hashtag gifted. Oh, here we go. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, it's one of my favorite things spaghetti carbonara i know some people will think oh that's just boring i love it it's so good here and some focaccia and just like that gone it is so rich and the bacon is charred beautifully yummy 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 already this is the low sugar flourless granja cake it's not called that really <laughs> fabulous meal at the olive grove i do recommend you try it out and make sure you book as soon as you get on board it gets super busy for now though um i'm gonna change into my late night outfit which means the removal of this drink of elimination device <laughs> and the next uh, yes get off me Oh, that is so much more comfy. Loving my new shirt from Next, by the way. It's nice and thin and cool. Love it. Listen, don't mean to offend anyone. Oh, what am I talking about? I can't offend you, can I? You can choose to be offended, of course. I'm going to have a couple hours to myself without doing any filming for the remainder of the evening. Um, I'll do my, my usual good night later. Of course I will. Um, but I hope you don't mind. I just feel like having a bit of downtime. I'm gonna see you shortly. I still love you though. Mwah. 
and I'm back. I'm also Batman, still. Bit of spray, oh, gorgeous. Film on. Mm, it's time for bed. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day and our first of two days in fabulous Rotterdam. You know what, it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait to show you around Rotterdam. It's one of my favorite cities. So let's get some kip, eh? And I'll see you in the morning. Don't forget, I love you, 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 and not you. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's food. Cheese breakfast meat, waffle and blueberry compote. It's 10 a.m. I've had a major lion, so tired. <laughs> Much needed. Life force. Some of you have been asking about restaurant opening times. Well, here's a look at a typical day on board the lovely Iona. I got a card to open. Oh, that is hilarious. I don't know if you've ever seen me post this video clip. Um, the birdie is Matthew when he's ill, by the way. You need to do a search and find it. Thank you, Matthew. Ocean Studios is Iona's very own cinema, included in your cruise fare. And this is where you can watch those films, Ocean Studios. And there are four of these cinema screens on board Iona. It's saying outside, no reservation or booking required, but I imagine you need to get here in advance because it can get a bit busy. And just opposite, you've got Anderson's Bar and Library. This is probably the only time I'll be in here this cruise. It is normally heaving in here in the evenings. And as you can see, for a ship of this size, it's not the largest bar either. So. Get here early if you want to secure a seat. And when you're in port overnight, you can come and go as you please. Indeed, you could stay out partying all night if you want to. I won't be back on board now until tomorrow afternoon. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's do this. All right, off we go. Need to be back on board tomorrow by 6.30 p.m. I hope I make it. Wow, the Rotterdam Cruise Terminal has awesome Wi-Fi, by the way. And I've just been able to upload a, a video as well in record speed. Thank you, everybody. Oh, look, man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore. Absolutely. Oh, it may be a grey, drizzly day. But I'm going to brighten it all up for you, my darlings. Alrighty, folks. So in the direct vicinity of where the ship is docked, you've got all sorts of bars and cafes. You've got the Hotel New York here as well. And the water taxi station is just this way. That's the backside of Hotel New York and the water taxi station is just here. So super close. So it's four euros 50 per person taking a water taxi anywhere in zone one. Now we are currently here. And I'm hoping to get a water taxi up to Centrum, which is uh, very close to the market hall and cube houses. Let's see how we get on. All right, straight on this boat actually. I didn't even need to call one in the app. So this is actually classed as a ferry and it does a route. I didn't know that. I was going to call it on the app. So you literally just tap inside um, to pay. It's three euros fifty. You can leave a tip as well if you want. Um, and it just does this all day. Awesome. And yes, there's an outdoor area. I don't think it's the weather for it today, if I'm honest. That's Euromast over there. Be doing that tomorrow. I've checked the weather forecast and with two days in port, I'm going to save some of my outdoor activities until tomorrow. Yes, there's some sunshine promised. Now I've taken this daily ferry, uh, which is a non-stop between Hotel New York and the Centrum, uh, three euros. I apologize. I think I said three euros 50 earlier. It's so reasonable. And literally five minutes later, we're here. And now a brief walk along the harbor to access Market Hall. Can't wait. I'm so hungry. When am I not hungry? At the end of that promenade I just walked, you turn left and you can see Market Hall just here. You can't miss it. Oh my God, we made it. I am so rocking this solo travel lark. Go me. And welcome to Market Hall. One of my favorite places in the universe to eat. <laughs> uh, you can actually buy apartments here, by the way, if you've got a lot of money, go for it. So you can get food from all over the world here. My recommendation is that you do a couple laps 
and decide what you want to eat. And obviously you need to eat in multiple places. Many of the eateries here actually have screens where you can order and pay. And they also have seating areas literally above on the roof, which is very cool. Oh, I'm in food heaven, I really am. Well, it doesn't get much more colorful than that, does it? Gorgeous. Around the edge of Market Hall, you also have some restaurants and well-known chains as well. I'm not going there. Oh, Uncle Wang Dumpling House. I'm going in. Well, I think I'm going to start off with some dumplings, you know, my darlings. I love a dumpling. Um, take out. Listen, folks, I can't emphasize enough how important it is you eat dumplings from here. I see you, chicken curry dumplings. Get in my tum. Oh, my goodness. These look and smell delicious. Oh, delicious. I am so excited to be here. A little bit of weed just came out, actually. Oh, my goodness me. Look what I've just seen. Cocktail special, porn star martini. And they do it as a takeaway. Right, I've just bumped into this wonderful family again. Oba's Food Bar, they're at. 12 breaded beef balls with mustard called Bitter Balan. Eight euros, not too bad, is it? I don't mean to be rude or anything, but the family um, offered one of their balls, so I'm going to go in and try one. Yeah. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how hot that is. <laughs> that is the crunchiest ball I've ever had in my whole life. Just see that. It's delicious. Ooh, Greek pie shop. How awesome. Wow. Good range of vegan and vegetarian food here as well. Oh, look, free chili heaven. So I think that's small, medium, and large, and then your different sauces. Holy shawarma, look at the size of this one. I went for small. Small here is clearly large. And now ramen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That's a nervous laugh. I'm eating a lot, aren't I? You get to choose your sauce with the spice level. I was tempted by the four chili, but I'm gonna go with three just in case. Nom, nom, nom. Rooftop views. Wowzers, I literally got stuck in an eating loop in Market Hall. I kid you not. Anyway, just opposite Market Hall, you've got the cube houses. It's where people actually live. Who would live in a cube house like this? Not me. I couldn't afford this. Wow. Blimmin' cool AF though, I must say. Could this even be the Caribbean with all these palms? Damn, no. Oh, let's go into one. Not too expensive. Well, up we go. Oh, these are steep steps. Oh, look at that. Well, this is very handy because I actually had some of these very questions. You probably do as well. Oh, 380,000 for a cube house. Thought it would be more than that. Oh, how cool is this? I could easily work in this kitchen, honestly. Decent size. More steep steps to navigate. It goes without saying, if you have mobility restrictions, I don't think this is gonna work for you, I'm afraid. Oh, I wouldn't mind that as a workstation. That's cool. You couldn't get much more 70s than this. <laughs> more steps to navigate here. I must say, I would be using this space very differently. I'd probably have a, I don't know, a ball pit down there or something. Oh gosh, let's get up here. Good job I didn't have any beer. Oh, I like this part most. You see, that's a good use of space. Little couch in the corner. Well, the top of the cube is definitely my favorite part. I don't know whether I'd make this a bedroom, a living area, what do you reckon? Oh, look, you can see the workspace down there. You could keep an eye on someone like Matthew. What are you up to? Very cool. Very nice thing to do, actually. Mind your step. Jamie is my name, retro is my game. If I've got this right, I might be able to take that ferry boat back to Hotel New York in 10 minutes. Uh, and then I'm gonna walk to SS Rotterdam, once the flagship cruise liner for Holland America Line. Oh my God, it's a floating jacuzzi. Look at that. Right, if my calculations are correct, that boat should be coming any minute now. Don't let me down. Oh my God, I'm getting so good at this. Freaking awesome. These are like clockwork, I tell ya. That 
was an awesome ride. Thank you, Water Taxi Rotterdam. <laughs> My God, I love you. Right, well, I did try and order a water taxi straight to SS Rotterdam, uh, but it was a couple hour wait. So I took that ferry uh, boat, which was super quick and efficient. Now I'm walking over this bridge and God willing and all, the uh, SS Rotterdam is in that direction. I am still rocking it, look. 13 minute walk, I'll take it. So actually, even from the ship itself, it's only a 20 minute walk to SS Rotterdam. So if you can't get a water taxi, or indeed you don't want to, or you just want to have a nice stroll, uh, this is none too shabby an area actually. Uh, perfect. Oh my goodness, 13 minutes later, there she is. How cool is this? What a beauty. Well, when I booked this online, it looked like my cabin had a couple tiny little portholes, so it could be anywhere along here. Alrighty, this looks like the area for boarding and check-in. You can take the elevator or the stairs and then red carpet ahoy. I've been wanting to come on board for years. Finally made it. Oh, what is it I normally do? Boom, 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 boom. I'm on. And the first picture you see when you get on board looks like uh, SS Rotterdam sailing out of New York. Oh, I do love a model. And uh, check in just to the right of the entrance. Come on, we can do this, folks. We can. Oh, it works. Not like Ambassador Cruise Lines cards. They don't work. Oh, my goodness. To the boats. Oh, let's hope that's not needed. And we made it. A086. Oh my God, what's this gonna be like? Right, lights are now on. And welcome to what is called a superior double room. Okay, on the main deck, we have the captain's lounge. Sounds like the kind of place I would like. Oh, that's a nice bar. I like it. Why am I whispering? It's because it's so quiet here. <laughs> it's really nice. I love it. Cheers, everybody. Right, my darlings, I gorged so badly earlier today at Market Hall that I'm just having some pimientos de padron for my tea. Health, 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 darling. Oh, look, even back then there was lounger hogging going on. Look, they've all got towels on. <laughs> this bed is very comfy, by the way, and these pillows is so big and enveloping oh love it um i'm gonna see you in the morning uh to try out breakfast on board in the Lido restaurant and then have a tour of all those spaces i wasn't able to get to oh i want to get into those little nooks and crannies i'll see you in the morning Mwah. good morning everybody well, I am rather perky this morning. I had a great night's sleep in this cabin. Uh, very quiet location and also a perfect room temperature for me. Anyway, whilst I ate my body weight five times over yesterday, um, it is time for breakfast. and I'm excited to be heading to the Lido restaurant. I don't know why I said it like that, Lido. Let's go. And the amor. Funky. And here we are. It's so quiet. Am I the only one here? Maybe. I love this restaurant. It's so cool. I think I'll have a table for myself, shall I? Oh, go on, let's have this one. I know what it is I love about this restaurant so much. Not just all of the imagery, it's the flooring. Look, wooden flooring. I don't remember the last time I saw that on a, a cruise ship. So you're gonna help yourself to hot drinks, juices, water, fruit and yogurt. Oh, even salad items, that looks nice. We've got cheeses, cold cuts. Oh, tuna, no thank you. Croissants, morning rolls, raisin bread, pan au chocolat, lovely. Lots of hot offerings as well. We've got different types of eggs, crispy bacon, sausage and beans. Oh, those rusty look good. Oh my goodness, look at these mushrooms. How awesome, it's almost like a mushroom casserole. I can see pancakes on the pass. Oh, and the lovely chef just made me a vegetable omelet. I thought that was a great breakfast, fabulous variety, really tasty food, very nice service as well. 
win. Oh look, the new Ocean Post. It's almost like a daily newsletter posted to your cabin, isn't it? This is very helpful. It's got information about how to access Wi-Fi, um, all the dining arrangements and opening times, accessing the water taxis. Oh, there's escape rooms on board as well. I forgot to mention that I never managed to escape, so there's no point me trying. Uh, information about the ship tours, and then you've got your QR code uh, for information on what to do in Rotterdam. Okay, I'm doing a full tour. I'm so excited. I'm going down, down, down to the engines for now. I'm gonna get to see so much on this tour. It's fantastic. Well, look at this. Big pool down here. Didn't know. And here we are in the engine rooms. Oh, it's so cool. There are quite a few steps to navigate on this tour. So if you have mobility restrictions, I don't think this is gonna be for you, I'm afraid. I'm out of breath. I don't know these steps. <sighs> I'm on the above waterline tour, as they call it now. And here's part of Prom Deck. Don't forget to check out my vlog on the 6th of March for the full SS Rotterdam experience. Up a little bit higher, so you can see the tiered aft. Gorgeous. Oh, it's the theatre. And so ends our little adventure on SS Rotterdam. What a fabulous experience. By all accounts, the water taxi is going to collect me from the other side of the ship. Mind officially blown. Is this actually going to work? I don't trust apps. I don't trust me. I don't trust IT. Boarding platform. Okay. Oh my goodness, don't tell me this is going to work. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, there you are. Starboard side of the ship, literally connecting the ship, is the water taxi platform. How awesome. My water taxi is due to arrive in four minutes. Will it happen? Will I get to Euromast? Who knows? Someone up there knows. Wow. My water taxi is on its way and it's on time. I cannot believe it. I mean... Sorry, I'm from the UK. Everything and everyone is late in the UK. I know I'll get dragged for that now. Oh, well, why don't you leave the UK then? <laughs> don't get triggered. Like clockwork. And on we go. It's nice enough to sit outside today. 15 degrees today. Woo! There's your mast. Right, so you never know who you're gonna meet when you're on a, a, a platform like this in Rotterdam. This lovely gent just came over and gave me a massive smacker on my cheek, didn't you? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> What's your name, kind sir? My name's Mark. And you've been looking for me on Iona? Yeah. And you found me on a platform in Rotterdam instead? Yep, that's right. I appreciate your support very much. He's got all quiet now, yeah, he's yeah, shy. I'm, I'm oh, he's got all quiet. shy. <laughs> you have a great rest of the week, okay? Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, what a lovely gent and family. Thank you so much for your kindness. Bless you. Mwah. Oh, River Cruise Rotterdam. Maybe that's something I need to look into. And it's the perfect day to sit up there. It's really lovely, actually. Oh, and right here, Splash Tours. I don't know if you've ever seen this. It's part boat, part bus. Uh, if you fancy a, a go, it's www.splashtours.nl And this platform here is where you can go to get all sorts of info and tickets for the Splash Tours, uh, river boats, Segway, etc. Awesome. I bloody love Rotterdam. There's so much to see and do here. Don't overlook it. Look, the finger's coming out. Teacher waving. Don't overlook it. Right, next on the list, Euromast. Now then, you can go up as far as the cafe and restaurant bar which I absolutely recommend. I, today, I'm going all the way up the top of the needle as well. I don't like heights. Help me. Oh, you can see the pod turning ever so gently. Uh, there's a new feature, which is basically uh, a see-through floor, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I really can't wait for that, folks. All right, let's do this. You can, of course, just rock up and try your luck. But me, I've got my e-tickets. I hope you're more excited than me. I'm doing this for you. You know that, don't you? I booked my tickets for Euromast when we docked in Rotterdam. There's no need to do it a long way in advance and tickets start at €18.50 Euros 50 per adult.
Right, first of all, we take the lift to the fifth floor. Right, let's do this. I'm feeling brave. <laughs> okay, I'm not feeling brave anymore. Oh, beautiful gardens down there. I don't think I've ever actually walked through them. Might do that afterwards. Look how stunning it is. And in the distance, Erasmus Bridge, which means our ship ain't too far. There she is. So this is the main viewing platform. I am going to be going up there in about five hours when I feel steady. <laughs> it's windy. I'm so scared. It can be really windy up here, so make sure you bring your knitted jumpers, my darlings. And the next lift. Okay, now at 112 meters, and we're heading up to 185 meters. Help me, please. I don't like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Party. Okay, we're moving. So apparently the glass floor will reveal itself to us when we get to the top and I just can't wait for that. Okay, I think I'm doing really well today folks. Look at that. Sorry about the from the crotch shot though. Quite gentle. Of the well, this is very clever. If you don't want to see through the glass panel, you can indeed press this button. Well, I'm going to be brave and walk these steps. Oh, God, you can see right through it. <gasps> oh, wobbly knees, wobbly knees. Oh, that looks stunning, though. Okay, I'm so getting brave. Oh, and you must, must, must come to the brasserie afterwards for a, a cheeky little drink, maybe some nibbles. It's lovely. Got great views all around. Oh, beautiful hot coffee and gorgeous views. By the way, there's also a really nice shop and cafe at the bottom of Euromars. So if you're in a group or a party where someone doesn't want to send, 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 just leave them there. They'll be fine. Well, that was a lot of fun. Recommend it. Alrighty, a little river walk is in order now, I think. It's really none too shabby a walk. And look who's over there. Bless her. I hope you missed me last night, baby. And at the end of that promenade, you have Verhaven. I'm really sorry about my pronunciation. Lovely little harbour, actually. Let's go and have a peep, shall we? Oh, look, it's the bus boat. I don't know what to call it. How cool is that? Go on, give him a wave. Hi. Don't get wet. Hey, Splash Tours. Oh, it's like Star Tours, only Splash Tours. Okay, so about a 20 minute walk from Euromast to Erasmus Bridge. This is, by the way, where you can get tickets for uh, river cruises. I'm absolutely certain this bridge is wobbling. It really is. Oh, for your information, the Wilhelmina Klein, sorry, uh, metro station is literally just at the end of this road, which is where the cruise terminal is. And just like that, I made it back. Nice walk. Probably be able to eat more food now because I burned off all those calories. And we're back where we started. And one last tip whilst in Rotterdam, right opposite the entrance slash exit to the cruise tunnel, there is a food hall. Did you know that? Here's the little peep around. Very nice, isn't it? So I can see there's Italian food, there's Mediterranean food. There are burgers, there's a Korean street food store. We've got Spanish. There's Vietnamese street food as well. Thank goodness we were here for two days. I'm gonna miss it. Oh, I'm coming back with Mapu in the summer. Oh, zoom sheath, I like that. Hi honey, I'm home. Gosh, it's been some time. 
me. Ice latte, you say? Who did? Me, dear. Okay. I've missed you, old friend. I've just had a lovely lady come up to me and say if it weren't for me and my vlogs, she would never have tried dumplings in Rotterdam. And apparently I've been named the dumpling man in their family. That's a new one on me. Well, as long as it helps people, that's the important thing, isn't it? Oh, I'm back. Oh, and a red rose on my bed for Valentine's Day yesterday. I'm really sorry I wasn't here to put you in water. You look like you've seen better days. Let's put you over with the card from Mackle, shall we? Now then, you didn't know I was a matchmaker, did you? Mm -mm. Well, it turns out I am. Uh, some lovely gent just stopped me on the way to the cabin to say because of my vlogs when I've traveled solo, it gave him the courage to do the same thing. You don't need courage to do it. Uh, just don't care what anyone else thinks and you'll be fine. And he met his other half as a result. How cool is that? I want to get invited to your wedding, by the way, if you get married, okay? Thank you. Alrighty, heading out shortly, let's have some cruise radio. Come on, hit me with it. Thank you very much. Oh, must remember to use my Sail Away drinks voucher. Uh, you get one of these if you are in the Peninsula Club. One cube, two cubes, rah, rah, rah. Vodka and sugar-free mixer, I'm ready for you. Cheers, everybody, and let's dance. Preferably better than me. Right, before heading out, let's sort out our turn down. Oh, you never know when you're going to need an interdental brush. Ah, uh, and let's put the card there for Maffle. Right, it's time to head out for the evening. Will we get a table in Anderson's? I'm going to try. Oh my God, there are seats available, there are seats available, there are seats available. And there's bubbles available, thank you. Tickety boo Thank you, Captain Hi. Wesley. Can I just say something about you two lovelies? What happened this week that's of major significance? Come on. I'm stuck with Oh, you. look. <laughs> this is the best news ever, is it not? Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Can you please invite me to your wedding? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Will it be in Blackpool? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm going the big one as well. Yeah. Big ones and weddings. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> you saw some of those in Amsterdam, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Congratulations. I'm very pleased for you. That's awesome news. Woo. Right, we have a night in the Limelight Club, folks. And in we go. So this cost uh, £20, actually, and then I got me, me loyalty discount. We're seeing Deborah Stevenson, who in the UK is known for being a comedian. Uh, actress and singer. Now, if I were them, I'd put us at the back, to be honest with you. What a rabble we are. Well, this is definitely a first come, first serve kind of seating arrangement. Uh, stage is over there. So we're talking three course meal. I think there's an amuse bouche, plus obviously your show. What would you have? What the hell am I gonna have? So here's the amuse uh, bouche, which is a little bit like a bruschetta, only with uh, aubergine. So on your table, there's an Ask the Artist uh, card in case you've got a burning question during the performance. I don't actually know this is a question, but I'm really hoping that Deborah will read this out. And if not, I'm filming it so that Kai and Dan can see it, okay? I've tried my best to make sure it stands out. <laughs> No, it's not camp. What are you talking about? Uh, cheers, 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 cheers. And to that random one there. Cheers. <laughs> Is it bold, sour and strong, just like these two? These two are. Mm. Holy <laughs> nice. And it's strong AF. Mm. It's really good. Well, I've got the oyster mushroom um, starter, and it's a bit bigger than the last time I was here. Young Dan has the ham hock with, uh, what is that? Green thing? It's, I think it's like a tea puree. So look, honestly, the mushroom starter is very nice, but it wouldn't even fill up my tiny little finger. It just wouldn't. Stevenson! Hey, Deborah. Did your career start? Where did and where did you train? Doing impressions. Doing very, start. very nice. A couple of my dad. I did the fourth okay, series. Talking about giant um, willies now. Jumped off a. Oh, got a the wheelie board. Yes, we did. Yes. Thank you. Did you give them a shout out, please? Thank you. Thank you. That is so cool. Thank you. Oh, that is awesome. Oh. Oh, 
Thank you so much. Ooh, squeezy. Oh, vodka, soda, and a fresh squeeze of lime. Gorgeous. The resident Iona band are playing whilst uh, we wait for our main courses. Hey, lady. Love you. Alrighty, I have the vegetarian spring roll. It looks nice, actually. This is the medium rare beef with uh, potato fondant, veggies, onions, jus. Okay, that is a, a winner in terms of a vegetarian dish. Very tasty indeed. And I love the potato that's um, deep fried around the edge. Nice. Nice. Oh, by the way, one of the funkiest bars on board. I love this in the limelight. Chocolate bomb. Bomba, 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 bomba. Anything in it gonna spill out? Any? No. Like right, moose. Have a sale. Perfect song for cruising, I've got to say. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah, my darling. Right, what do we need Hello. to declare right now? We have been brought to a drink by Deborah. Deborah has bought us a drink. How kind is that? We love you, Deborah. Thank we? you very much. Yeah, that's kind. Bless Ky her. Kai loves her as well, but he's going to go and pick up my alcohol. Oh, I thought we went for a week. No, he picked up my alcohol. Oh. Duty free. Can't you pick up your own alcohol? No. No? Why not? What would happen? I'd miss my table and my drink order. Deborah Stevenson literally just brought me some. <laughs> <laughs> How kind is she? Um, did I say earlier we loved her? Oh yeah, a few times. Oh, by the way, Deborah, guess what? We love you. Thank you so much. Rest your voice. Seven whole nights. You know you are working her hard. Cheers, Deborah. Here's to you. Cheers. Oh, and here's to you and your engagement. Oh yes. Cheers. All right, it's karaoke in the limelight, and someone made me write down a song, and he ran it over. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll pick this song. I don't. No, they won't. No, they won't. Oh, that's a little bit karaoke. We've got Dan first. Where's Dan? No. Then we have Dan performing. So many sides, so strong. Let's hear a round of applause for Dan, everybody. Oh, not you. How many Dans are there on this planet? Oh, I love this man. Come on, sing it, baby, sing it. Oh, this is a nice couple that had a bit for me earlier. Bless them. Go on, Davey Wavy, yes! Mortifying karaoke moment for me. Wow, late night snacks is definitely popular. I mean, that's why I'm here. I want it. Oh, have they got Horlicks? Please tell me you have. Oh, look, they've got Horlicks as well as hot chocolate. Yes. Oh, late night snacks in the cabin. Now then, this is chips and curry sauce. <laughs> why not? Someone just said to me in the late night snacks buffet area, um, Jamie, how are you not the size of a house? That's what they said to me. And I thought, oh, maybe the size of a small house. Well, what an amazing couple of days it's been. And there's no let up tomorrow either as I'm heading to Bruges and I'll be navigating those canals as well. For now, here's what's coming up in part three.
Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, I had to Bruges for a soggy canal boat trip, experience an amazing tea room, enjoy some culture, architecture and lakes, and of course famous frit mayo. And meanwhile back on board Iona, a night out with this bunch, dinner in the main dining room, Sky Dome Entertainment and Silent Disco, late night at the 710 Club, disembarkation arrangements, a surprise delivery, my final drink spill, ritualistic farewells, Mr Googly Eyes retires, disembarkation, seeing Matthew and my fur babies, and my final reflections of the week. Thanks for following along, let's do a bit of spray. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in part three, my darlings. I love nearly everyone here. See you later. Mwah. Thank you so much for your support as we head towards 25,000 subscribers. Today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four and five patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And one of the many perks of becoming a patron is that this month we are actually all meeting up in Southampton. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram and YouTube.